We've arrived to Korea! Seoul, one of the biggest cities in the world, packed with art, nature, tradition, and yummy food. But is it vegetarian friendly? Let's find out! Day one was all about our dinner reservation. We had some time to kill before dinner, so we walked around in Sedong, where we stumbled upon an art installation. Look at this! Yeah, it's pretty cool. Do you want to go in? We then did some shopping. We'd only been in Korea a few hours, but I already knew I wanted some clothes. I loved the styles that I was seeing. Luke and I both walked out with an outfit each. Finally, it was time for our dinner reservation at a flower blossom on the rice. This is a Michelin green star in Bib Gourmand place that you definitely need a reservation for. Spoiler alert, this was the best restaurant we went to in Seoul. That's nice. That's like fall. That's a Korean pumpkin spice latte. So today's Thursday. It's our second day in Seoul, but our first full day. We arrived late last night. Yesterday when we got here, we went shopping and I got this outfit. Luke also got an outfit, but he decided not to wear it today. Today we're gonna do a city tour with a group and it's gonna be in English. We're gonna go around the main things to see in Seoul, so it should be good. We're getting ready uh, to meet up with them in about an hour, so we're gonna have some vegetarian salads here very soon. perfect outfit for this weather. Like, completely nailed it. This is pretty. So we're on a city tour of Seoul. Our first stop was this Buddhist temple, Dogesa. But it is actually holiday in Korea right now, so it is very beautifully decorated with lanterns, a lot of people praying. We went inside the temple. We couldn't take pictures, but we had to take our shoes off. and. We knelt on mats for a little bit. This is my year animal. Your birth year. My birth year. I'm the the rooster. rooster. So the tree behind you is 500 years old. It's a white pine. We did the Seoul City Tour by the company VIP City Tours. Honestly, the tour could have been more informative. We were left to our own exploration, which would have been nice to instead have more instruction. After the tour, it was time for an early dinner at a place called Sanchon. We're at a vegan temple food restaurant and we just got served our first meal. This is lotus fruit. Coriander, aka cilantro, mushrooms, dried seaweed, a different kind of seaweed. That is an apple tea, kimchi soup, and black sesame. That is not what I was expecting. Very crunchy. This is the main course. Lots of herbs and greens in the middle. An assortment of tofu and cucumber. This is vegetarian kimchi. I nearly cried when I saw it because I didn't think we were going to be able to have any. It looks legit. What did we just do? We just ate at a place. I don't recommend it. Sorry. I you might we... end up recommending it in a scheme of everything else that's available. The restaurant last night was very good. This was a 4 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. It's unfortunate because it had good reviews. It had really good reviews. Like Luke said this, vegans and vegetarians settle for less. They're used to shitty food. I should say that. No, maybe, for sure. Maybe as vegans and vegetarians, if we can eat, we're happy. But I don't know, maybe it's San Francisco. The fact that everywhere has really good vegetarian food, it makes it really hard to settle for less, which is what we've done tonight. So I'm leaving on <laughs> But I'm in this traditional outfit. That's Go back up. Let's see you. Let's see you then. 
What are you doing? We were supposed to come in and drop off our stuff and go back out. But it's 721 and I think we should get ready for bed. <laughs> you only woke up 12 hours ago for context. You haven't had a whole day yet. Yeah, 12 hours? That's all that you need to be awake for. Day three was my favorite day. We covered a lot of ground today and also had a lot of really yummy food, starting with this waffle, which I kid you not is the best waffle I've ever had, period. Luke, what's, go <laughs> what's going on right now? We got off at the wrong train station because not everything in the train station in Seoul is actually translated to English. And so it's very easy to confuse yourself, but we're going to recover. I think the trains are just as good, but because it's not translated as well in the apps, you're more likely to get confused and make a mistake, which is what we did. Than so, in Japan. Than in Japan, where everything's just translated to English and Google Maps Tokyo. actually works. Osaka was a little more confusing. Yeah. For lunch, we went to Plan Food, which should be on your must-eat list for vegetarians. We came to the Coex Mall to see the library here and found a restaurant called Plantood, which has a vegetarian bibimbap. Yeah? Oh, wow, okay. Oh, yum. Yeah, well, Luke doesn't make that face often. Tomato soup. That is the dressing for the bibimbap, which looks really good. After lunch, we went to the Starfield Library to get the iconic escalator shot. It definitely seemed like everyone was riding the escalator just to get the shot. Then we went to the famous Arabica coffee shop and the coffee was indeed smooth and tasty. We needed the fuel for our next stop, a six kilometer walk to the Seoul Tower. For a six kilometer walk? You mean a three hour hike? We're going up the end Seoul Tower. Right now we're on a nature walk in the park around the Seoul Tower. The temperature is pretty nice actually. It's a lot cooler than it was in Japan. So I even have a little sweater on. Although I'm mostly doing it for the mosquitoes. I've been eaten alive during this entire trip. But yeah, this is nice. Yeah, it's pretty here. It wasn't until this very moment that I realized just how big Seoul is. We're at the Seoul Tower, but it was a two hour wait from the base of the tower to go up. So we're not gonna do that. We're just enjoying the view from here. I definitely recommend walking to the tower to see the view from up there, but you'll have to let me know if going all the way to the top of the tower is worth it even more. What's what? I think you get a caricature. Yeah, it's a caricature. Do you want one? It takes one minute. It takes one minute? Yeah. I just got a caricature done. Does it look like me? <laughs> We're in Myeongdong Market shopping area. We're gonna walk through it. Today's supposed to be Thanksgiving, so I do think it's considerably less crowded than normal. Uh, so we're just gonna walk through it. I got a caricature done. I think it was pretty good. I'll try to use it as like my caricature for social media. That was my goal. We'll see if I do. What do you think of this? After shopping, we decided to have dinner at the street food vendors in the market. I'm happy to report that there was plenty completely vegetarian street food options. This was a total dream come true. What are they? Ginkgo nuts. Ginkgo nuts? They are insanely meaty for a nut. Really chewy. Mm, the taste, kind of like a chestnut mixed with a Brazil nut. Okay, we just got our first street food as vegetarians. He said this was vegetarian. It's chopped suey. <laughs> Let's see. Vegetarian. Yummy? Yeah, I'm happy. 
Alright, some yummy chop suey. This is the chop suey vendor in case you're coming. This is what it looks like. Getting in line for a little Korean pancake. Hi, can I be the vegetable one? You can be vegetarian at the market. Yeah. All right, let's try it. It's kind of like standard fry bread, but it's good. How would you rate it? Worth it or not worth it? I mean, if you really like fried food, this is like fried bread. You can't go wrong with fried bread. It tastes great, but I might not finish it so we can eat more food. Thank you. How much? Seven dollars. You want a blueberry or a strawberry? I think strawberry. Thank you. My very first pancake souffle. Whoa. It's way eggier than I thought it would be. That's how they get it, souffle. I understand now. But the consistency is like air. Wow. It's like a little piece of bread with egg on it. Looks delicious. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. On our walk to our hotel, we took a moment to enjoy the stream that was a wonderful juxtaposition to the food market. I love these little stones that are in place for people to cross. You see the little duckies? Look, capture the people walking. I've been seeing these footpath river crossings in both Korea and Japan, and I think they're awesome. It's a great way to interact with nature in the middle of a giant modern city. Where to begin? This looks really good. Gosh, this first bite isn't good. <laughs> I'm so upset. Uh oh. Yum. We don't have to eat this all. Or do we have to eat this all? <laughs> we just went to this trendy cafe onion. We came because there were good reviews. Um, but after nearly two hours in line, and it was a two-stage two line, the food was really meh. Um, really below average croissants, baked goods, they were really dry. The drinks were okay. Nothing special, just okay. So I don't think it's worth the hype of uh, all the reviews. So read the negative reviews, they are true. It's not worth the two hour wait. Actually, what was worth the five second wait was this waffle shop <laughs> with the best waffle I've ever had in my whole life. That was very good. So, I and think it's next door and there's no line. Yeah, it's right next door, so maybe skip this, do the waffle. Sprinkle throughout Seoul are traditional Korean houses or hanoks. We found some really impressive ones. We're exploring a Hanuk village. Take a look at the one behind me. It's gorgeous. This one's a little less intricate than others. It feels more minimalistic, but more my style. These are supposed to be like super ancient villages, traditional living quarters. There aren't that many left in Seoul, I don't think. So it's flocking with tourists, but we found a little bit of a quieter street. After the Hanuk village, we went to lunch at a Michelin guide restaurant that had a couple vegetarian vegan options. The food was pretty good, but I remain that the very first restaurant that we went to continues to be the best place for vegetarians. This is our last day in Korea, also our last day on this trip. 
we're trying to take it a little bit easy and we just had lunch at a bibimbap place michelin rated but uh we're not leaving like super super impressed with the food which is maybe a hot take from here we're going to the national museum we're gonna see a waterfall at night and then we'll call a day we'll call it a day so yeah we're rounding out our trip okay. If you like cookware or houseware, I highly recommend this store. Each product was high quality, either made in Korea or Japan. How can I take this home? We bought the rice pot and some beautiful metal chopsticks. We just came from shopping. We found this store that was like a furniture and home goods store, but made in Korea objects, which Luke and I are obsessed with made in X country stores where the quality is really high. The prices aren't great for our pockets. We got a really legit rice pot made out of cast iron and some really great enameled pans for my mise en place as well as some gold chopsticks, which we're very happy about. So we're gonna go into this museum. It's already getting a little bit late. It's six o'clock on our last day. And yeah, let's go learn about some history. in Pyongyang in the tomb of a former emperor. It's a dragon. How was it? It was really good. We spent... When did we enter? I don't know. I don't know. Time warp inside the museum. Spent a very, very long time learning about rock and how rocks were made into tools and how bronze came about and iron. I recommend it. If you're in Seoul, it's a pretty good place. And it was free. Oh my gosh. On the way home, we passed by the supermarket and Luke was like, I want a beer. And I was like, okay, go to that supermarket. He's like, no, no, we'll, we'll ask at the hotel. They brought us back to the supermarket. I was right, he should listen to me more often. And look what the supermarket has. What my local Costco does not have. Veggie dumplings. And they also have another kind of veggie dumpling. And I'm pretty sure that's also vegetarian. And that. This is pretty solid. I'm impressed by that. My local Costco doesn't have any of that. We ended our night at the Banpo Bridge light show, which was very beautiful. After four days in Seoul, I definitely want to come back to visit more of Korea. As a vegetarian, I hope there will continue to be more veggie friendly options because when the food is good, it is really good. I hope this video was useful to you if you're planning a trip to Korea. Let me know your thoughts about vegetarianism in Korea in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching.